Hi, I'm so glad you're in art class today. We're gonna talk about the different centers in art today, okay? So this is a short little video telling you all about our new centers in our art studio. So come on, listen up, and let's go. First, when you walk in, you're gonna come straight into the door and you're gonna sit right here where you're probably sitting right now in our meet and greet area. This is where you're going to um, find out our standards and what we're doing today. They will all be listed right next to the I can do soup. They'll be right there. So K looks there, first looks there, second, third, and so on, okay? So this is always where you can look to find out what our standards are for today. While we're here, I wanna show you my little color wheel. Welcome to come get it whenever you need to. Just pull off the thumbtack, take this little handy dandy thing to your table, and it twists and turns and tells you tints and shades and color mixing, okay? When you're done, just return it. Um, with the thumbtack. Okay, let's get started. Our first center is our fiber center, and right now it is weaving. Every center will have a resource book. Inside the resource book is everything you need to know about that center, how to make your loom, how to weave, what to add to your weaving to add texture and detail. This drawer down here in the fiber center is um, different materials you can use for your weaving. So we have yarn in the first drawer. In the second drawer, we have different beads that you can use. Um, in the last drawer, we have different types of fibers, okay? So feel free to use all of this in your fiber project. Another center we have is drawing. Right now we have color pencils out at the drawing center, but it will change. We'll use um, oil pastels, we'll use chalk pastels, we'll use charcoal. And again, our drawing resource book is here. Boys and girls, this book for every center is like the Bible. Read it and figure out what you need to do um, for each center. It gives you all kinds of tips in the resource book. Back here, this center actually doesn't have a resource book. It's just the building center, okay? And we have little Lego guys. We have a city mapped out up on top. You can also build down low on this city down here on the road, okay? So either up top or down low, and there's four people at this center. Okay, another center is the painting center. The resource book is up here for the painting center. And you will see that some other children have already put their paintings up there to dry. This is where you will dry your paintings at the painting center. You will not take them to the white drying rack over there. You will leave them at the black drying rack, okay? So this is watercolor out today. And if you look inside your resource book, you will find tips about watercolor. Use this resource book, boys and girls. This is like a second teacher in the classroom, okay? And when you're at the painting center, you will use the sink behind you to fill up your water. Now you don't need a lot, a little bit. Okay, back here is our drying rack and you will notice that it's all labeled fifth grade, fourth grade. Boys and girls, put your projects in the appropriate level grade so that they will not get mixed up. The inspiration center and idea books. This is actually two centers in one. If you need inspiration, you can come here and look at all these beautiful paintings by famous artists. And you can look at these lovely projects by non-famous artists and take them back to your center if you need to, or look at them here. There are books that you may use. You may look at them. There's drawing books in here. There's reading books, whatever your little heart desires. This is the geometric shape building center. Again, resource book, boys and girls. Okay, another center over here is the sculpture center. Right now in sculpture, we have out clay. Clay will be our first um, medium that we're going to work with in the sculpture center. We can do wire sculpture, we can do cardboard sculpture, we can do paper mache, but the first one we're going to work with is clay. Now, there's a center way in the back that I haven't shown you yet, and I'm gonna walk back here and show you collage. Oh, this is my favorite center. 
all sorts of things in collage. Now, I need to tell you, this top row, collage center. Now the collage center has a bunch of different things because it's collage and collage means a bunch of different little things glued together to make art. So this first row right here, you can choose as much from this first row as your little heart desires. You can choose as much of the bottom row as your little heart desires, but the middle row, the middle row is sacred and special because I can't find a lot of these or they're expensive. So so you may only take two, not two from here, two from here, two from, no, 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 two from the whole row. So you can take one from here and one from here. You could take one from here and one from here, but only two. Okay. Now over here on the other side, you walk around, you can have unlimited amount of little tchotchke papers and you can have ultimate amount of magazines. Now, there is no garbage in the art room. There's one little teeny tiny teeny tiny garbage next to Miss Cunningham's desk. That's because we don't need a lot of garbage. Everything is reused. So put your magazines back in there once you cut them. Put your papers back in there once you cut them and reuse. Now, the collage center is over here and we will be working five students over here. Okay. Now, oh my gosh, someone left this center a mess. So what happens is this center is closed for this class next time they come in. I know what class it is. And next time they come in, Miss Cunningham has made a special note in my binder that says this class cannot use Collage Center next time because they left it a mess. Sometimes that happens, boys and girls. It's very unfortunate, but sometimes it does happen. So if you see a mess, it is not your job to clean it up. However, I know you will because you guys are nice boys and girls, but you tell Miss Cunningham if it's a mess, okay? And Miss Cunningham will close that center when that class comes back. And here's my teeny tiny garbage can. Now let me tell you one more thing about the sink. Boys and girls, the sink we have here for hands and the sink we have here for hands. Now you will get one pump of soap wash your hands. You will get two paper towels, dry them off, and then you have to walk all the way back over there to the trash can, okay? Now, these two sponges will be used for wiping tables off. This is what how you do it. You get it wet, sop and sop and wet. You turn off the water and you squeeze out the water. Then you take it over to your table when everyone's projects are gone and you wipe the table. It's not soaking wet. It's going to dry very quickly because it's not wet. And then I bring the sponge back and I put it back at the sink. Okay, that is all we have time for today. When it's time to line up, we clean up and we stand behind the ladybug tape, one foot on cream, one foot on green. Our hands are to our side and to ourself. And we are looking at this beautiful poster saying, art, we are safety, we are respect, and we are responsibility. Thank you guys, and we will have a great year in art.